Now for the formal proof. The idea is to take what I just said about informal proof and write it down using what is called the two-column approach, which looks like this. This side is for statement. This side gives you the reasons. Because we are using deductive reasoning, first we state the given parts, which are found in the if part of the problem. This particular theorem says, if two lines intersect to form a 90 degree angle, then all four angles in the intersections are 90 degrees each. The given information is that the two lines intersect forming angles 1, 2, 3, and 4, and that angle 1 is 90 degrees. The then part asks us to prove that angles 2, 3, and 4 are also 90 degrees. Notice the structure using the two-side approach. Now for the statements and reasons. Remember, anything that makes things clear must be written down. Okay, let's start. First statement. Two intersecting lines forming angles 1, 2, 3, and 4. The reason? Given. Second. Angles 1 and 2 form straight angle. Reason, definition of two angles on a line, or a linear pair. Third, angle 1 equals 90 degrees. Reason, given. Fourth, angle 1 and 2 equals 180 degrees. Reason, definition of a straight angle. Fifth, angle 2 equals 90 degrees. Reason, 180 minus 90 equals 90. Sixth, angle 2 plus angle 3 equals 180 degrees. Reason, definition of a straight angle. Seventh, angle 3 equals 90. Reason, 180 minus 90 equals 90. 8. Angle 3 plus angle 4 equals 180 degrees. Reason, definition of a straight angle. 9. Angle 4 equals 90. Reason, 180 minus 90 equals 90. So we have proven that if one angle is 90 degrees, then the other angles are also 90. Now, not every proof needs to be alike. It all depends on the approach and logic you use. In any case, a formal proof has two sides. The statements and reason must be written as short as possible.